Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, one of your librarians at the Westerville Public Library, and I've got a very unique book to recommend to you today. It is called Pet, written by Akwege Amezi. And this book is unlike anything else I've ever read. It takes place sometime in the future, and in this world, all bad, evil things, all monsters, all crime, anything that you would consider negative has supposedly been deleted. It's gone. It's been taken care of. There are no monsters anymore. The main character is named Jam, and they and their best friend Redemption have grown up with this knowledge their whole life that there's nothing out there. Anything that's bad has been taken care of in the past. However, Jam meets someone named Pet. And Pet is a creature that I would describe as a monster. They've got horns and all sorts of colors and claws, and they are a very dark creature. And Pet emerges from one of Jam's mother's paintings with a drop of Jam's blood. And they come with a message that Pet has come to hunt a monster. That monster is in Redemption's house. Jan must fight not only to protect her best friend, but also to uncover the truth. And the answer to the question, how do you save the world from monsters if no one will admit that they exist? This book is geared towards teenagers. I would say seventh grade and up. And it asks a lot of difficult questions about life, identity, society, what makes something good or bad, and what happens when we ignore human nature and human behavior. It is very dark in places, so if that's not your cup of tea, this is not for you. And this world is very interesting because it does take the concept of what happens if there's no bad? There's no bad people. There's no monsters out there, so to speak. And... What, what happens then? And what do people believe in? And what makes people do good things if there's no threat of bad things? Like I said, it is unlike anything else I've read. It's got a little bit of a supernatural in it. It deals with a little bit of gender identity, but that's not a huge part of the story. The story is figuring out what the monster is in Redemption's household. I highly recommend this one. It's going to make you think. It's going to leave a little bit of a pit in your stomach when you finish it, but that's a good thing sometimes. You can check out Pet with your Westerville Library card as a physical book, an ebook, or an audiobook. Thanks for listening and get to reading. Bye.